what is the difference between electrolytic and solubility properties of substances? Well, if, if we focus on substances interacting with water, the solubility of a substance is referring to the extent of which that substance dissolves in water. With dissolve meaning the substance does not stay clumped together, but all of the molecules break up and become completely surrounded by water molecules. Sugar will dissolve in water. All of the sugar molecules break up and become surrounded by water molecules. Salt, the sodium ions and the chloride ions break up and become completely surrounded by water molecules. This is what dissolving means. Aqueous is used to specify that a molecule or ion is dissolved in water. So the process of these sugar molecules dissolving in water, we would write as C12H22O11 solid becomes C12H22O11 aqueous. Dissolving sodium chloride in a Cl solid comes Na plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. However, certain substances are able to dissolve more in water than other substances. Because there is a point where if you keep adding sugar to the water, it will stop dissolving because the water becomes saturated. Same with salt. So solubility is just referring to how much of that substance can dissolve before the solution becomes saturated and dissolving stops. An electrolytic property is referring to when that substance is dissolved in water, does the resulting solution conduct electricity? If it does, that substance is an electrolyte. If it doesn't, it's a non-electrolyte. In order to be an electrolyte, you need ions to dissolve in the solution. So you can see sodium chloride is an electrolyte, but sugar is not. Note that to be an electrolyte, you do need to be soluble in water to some extent. But when comparing two soluble substances, the degree of solubility of those substances has nothing to do with whether or not those substances are electrolytes. Here, the light bulb doesn't turn on, but it doesn't matter how much of a non-electrolyte you dissolve in this water, the light bulb will never shine. Here, maybe you have a weak electrolyte dissolved and a strong electrolyte dissolved here, but if the weak electrolyte is highly soluble, you can just add more weak electrolyte and get it to shine bright. Or it could be that you have a strong electrolyte dissolved here, but it's not very soluble. So you can't add enough of the electrolyte to get the bulb to shine bright. So what's a, a, a strong versus a weak electrolyte? Well, both dissolve in water and separate into ions. Both are electrolytes. But a strong electrolyte, like sodium chloride, dissolves completely. There's no reversibility in the dissolving process. But a weak electrolyte does not dissolve completely. The dissolving reaction is reversible. 